This is an example of program number five, steganographer for CS107 at UIC in the spring of 2010. So this is our last programming assignment that in includes a lot of things from that we've learned from other assignments. So when we start it running, we can see in, in this section right here um, that it gives us our, our title information and then our menu options, which really drives the program. So we can open a file, so we type in O for open, and it uh, gives us the prompt down here. Notice that this window might be behind the existing programming window. And then we want to choose a, a picture window um, to be used for the encoding. So for now, let's try the one with the lucky dog stares at the wall. And let's go ahead and bring this into view. And there's our picture. And, uh, and now we can do other things. We could save the current picture file. We could encode. So let's go down and try encode. So for encoding now we have to find some text that we can put into that picture file. So let's choose the uh, Roberts Frost Two Tramps in Mud Time excerpt from that. So we choose that and then we have to choose which bit to use for the encoding. So let's encode it in bit number one and off it goes for bit number one and it shows us a new diagram and we can see it's very similar from the old one. We look side by side really can't tell a difference because we put it in bit number one. And then if we wanted to, we could then uh, save the file. And if we save the file, we'll make a copy using the existing name um, and add an underscore two to the end of it. And then we could exit the program and we're out. Then if we were to run the program again, starting over, um, we can now open this file that was just created. So let's open this file that was created and we want to find lucky dog number two in this directory. So let's go and take a look here. Lucky stairs at wall number two, there it is. And, uh, and now what we can do is we can say uh, decode. So D for decode a message from the current picture. So we decode asks at what bit? So we say bit one, and then it pulls out and here's the text that was stored inside of the picture. And then again, we could exit the program if we wanted to. Note that we could, if we wanted to encode in a different bit, we could do that, either the same message or some different message. So currently we have two tramps and mud time in there. And we could also choose here, if we wanted to find uh, some other text file. How about if we put in there um, some, some other text, funny quizzes. But this time when asked for the bit position, if we put it, say, in bit seven, then we might see a noticeable different on the difference on the screen because it's a more significant bit. And sure enough, when we see this now and put these side by side, we can see that we've actually changed the significant bits and that affects the color quite a bit. And the information is in there. If we wanted to extract it, we can now just go in here and say uh, decode. And this is in bit seven. And here's the information. We can see that it's scrolled by the screen, um, all that text that was stored in bit seven. And of course, at the same time in bit one, we still have the other information that was still stored there, which is a Robert Frost excerpt. And then we could exit the program. Uh, when you run this program, if you type, uh, when you start it, and you haven't opened a picture file yet, if you try and do save or decode, it gives you an error message saying, first, you have to open a picture file to be used. So enjoy this program. I think it should be fun.